Hello, welcome or welcome back. If you're new, my name is JC. Today's video is a 48 hour readathon. I love these videos. I really love watching Mel Reads do them. I feel like she is the queen of 48 hour readathons. And specifically, she does it in a way that isn't destroying her mind, body, and soul. So I'm following her method for this video. Essentially, you're trying to read as much as you can in a 48 hour period. So it is near 5 p.m. on Friday and I'm gonna read as much as I can until 5 p.m. on Sunday. First up, let's talk about my TBR for this weekend. Okay, we'll slightly switch up the angle so we don't all get bored here. But if you watched my recent upload of my summer ween vlog, you would know that I finished off starting Stephen King's Billy Summers. That was the last book that I started for that video, so I'm only less than 100 pages in. I'm loving it, but this is the first book on my TBR, and I'm going to be reading this, finishing this first. Then I want to read Red Rising, a very highly anticipated read. I'm excited to read this. Then one of my library books is Talk Bookish to Me. I don't, I don't know what it's about, but it had the word bookish in the title, so I checked it out. I just feel like it's going to be a quick read, so I feel like you need those sometimes. So I'm hoping to get to this. Then I have Princess of Souls. This is a second book, but I feel like they're actually standalones. I don't really know how they're connected, but it's the second book that is from like the key Kingdom of the Sea. Sea of the Kingdom. Oh my god, okay, I have to look this up. I'm just not, I'm not going to get it. To Kill a Kingdom. God, I wasn't, I mean, I had the word kingdom, right? But To Kill a Kingdom. This is the second book, sort of, in that. I don't know how they're connected, but I checked it out, and I am very excited to read this. To Kill a Kingdom was such an easy read. Okay, the trilogy is called Hundred Kingdoms. So we'll see. And then the last book, okay, let me preface. All of these are just ones, they're my TBR. I don't like, anticipate getting to all of these this weekend, to be clear. But these are the ones I'm going to be choosing from. And based on this last one, if you're in the bookish community, I feel like you are going to yell at me if I don't get to this. Flawless by Elsie Silver. This book is everywhere. It is such a highly anticipated read for me as well. Okay, that's my TBR for this weekend. And I'll see you at 5 o'clock to get this going. Okay, it is 5 o'clock. We are going to go ahead and get started. So, you probably already saw in the background. Sometimes I crave carbonation, but I don't like keeping soda in my house, like cans of soda and such. So, I bought this and I was craving carbonation. So, here I am drinking that. And I have these to snack on. I just want like a little something. And then I had a very late lunch. By late, I mean two hours ago. So, who knows when I'm going to get dinner. <laughs> um... So these are my snacks. So we're going to go ahead and get reading. And I have a whole playlist of various people's summerween vlogs that I can watch. And I'm just, I'm very excited. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to come on and give a, a little update. I've read three chapters. I think I was on chapter five. I'm now on chapter eight, which is page 125. And I am just loving this. I wish I could even talk a little more about it. But because the back doesn't give anything about like what the job is and what he's having to do for it. I don't want to spoil anything, but just know that like we're just getting more of Billy Summers like who he is along with just like how smart he is and how much he's thinking things through it's just it's so interesting it is I think we're just gonna get more bits of Billy throughout this like um his past and stuff and I'm intrigued by it because the last part of this backside is talking about like it's part war story and part love letter to small town America and the people who live there because he was a Iraq vet or is an Iraq vet, um, and then comes back and becomes a serial killer. So, just serial killer things, you know. I'm enjoying it so far, I just wanted to give an update. Okay, it's now 9 o'clock, and I ended on a chapter where I was just like, I want to take off my makeup, brush my teeth, brush my teeth, and get in bed. Then I remember that Larry Reed's put out a video today 
of her reading for 24 hours straight. I'm like, I have to watch that. And guys, it's the Friday after Summerween ended. So while you've seen the video, I haven't edited the Summerween vlog. So I uploaded the footage while I was reading earlier and now I want to do at least like a rough cut tonight. So I don't know if I'll read anymore because I'm exhausted. My alarm was set for 5.55 this morning. I had a meeting at 6 that I at least had to be like awake and listening in on. It's been a very long day. So I'm very tired. So I'm hoping to just rough cut this and then get some good sleep, get some good rest, be ready to read tomorrow. Good morning. It's the next day, obviously, and we need to go to the library. It's a little after nine. They just opened. <sighs> I slept in this morning and it felt so nice. I have a couple returns to make and a book on hold to pick up. And if I don't pick it up soon, it's going to like expire. So um, let's go to that first bit. I just want to quickly show you the two books that I got. So this is my hold. This is The Murder on Mustang Beach. I read the first one, Smile Beach Murder. It was good. It was like a cozy murder. I just watched Rachel Catherine finishing the entire Shadowhunters like, universe and she was just obsessing over it. So I saw they had book one, City of Bones, The Mortal Instruments. And evidently this is the first book you're supposed to read. So. I checked it out. Now we're gonna head actually to Target. There's a couple things I need and it doesn't hurt to check the book section out. Where do we go now? Just let me know that I am safe. Here in your arms, I wanna stay, stay, I'm slipping away. So don't let me go now. The love is exceptional. It feels okay, two things. One, my ears like need popped. Ever since I woke up this morning, they're whatever's going on is driving me insane. Second, I just got back from Target. I did not get any books. Nothing that they had that I was like, no, I want to read that now. So that's okay. Good to look. I saw they had some books that I'm definitely interested in, so that's good to know for the future. But my Hello Fresh box came. I kind of forgot. Like, I knew it was coming, but I definitely don't remember what I got this week. Okay, I just got my two meals. So, I got one pan sweet and spicy cashew pork tacos. These look so good. And then one pan vegan Tex Mex black bean wraps. Also, look good. Um, my Target haul is so small, it's ridiculous. I got some more pimple patches. I honestly, I don't like, I feel like sometimes they work really well. But more than anything, I like putting them on so I don't pick at anything. I got another thing of these. I ate them all yesterday. I don't want to talk about it. And I got another Pepsi. Okay. Now I'm going to put away my HelloFresh and stuff. And then I need to figure out food because I am starving. Okay, I ate. I switched my loads of laundry. And now I'm ready to finally just sit down and get going on reading for today. Okay, I just want to hop in and give an update. It's now like 11.45 or so and I'm on page 300. So I'm about 60% of the way through the book. I am definitely enjoying it. Um, I've just been sitting on the couch. I wanted to eat a grape and then I realized I'm filming. My ears still have not popped. I'm losing my mind. Um, but it is so nice out. Well, I don't know if it's really nice. It's very hot. But... Um, clear skies I want to go sit at the pool and read maybe just for an hour I don't know maybe I'll get in today because it is so hot I don't know but I just want to get outside and enjoy some of this weather okay I'm back home and I'm finishing this book I am 90% of the way through so I have I don't know how many pages left maybe about like 60 70 pages 
I'm excited to finish this book. I am so excited to finish this book. My ears still haven't popped. <laughs> I just now noticed. Um, the pool was nice. It was nice to just be outside. I was really in the shade the whole time. And then I just grabbed the whatever like fruit cup thing this is. So just like a little snack and I'll make some food once I probably finish the book. But I'm just dying to know how this thing ends. So let's finish this. Okay, just finished Billy Summers. Wow. I'm easily giving it a four and a half stars right now. I'm going to see how it just like marinates with me by the time I film my July reading wrap up. But I love that book. It was so good. I mean, following a serial killer with the like morals that he had and navigating everything about his last job and all the like connections I guess he's had throughout this second career of his after returning from Iraq. Okay, I'm going to figure out my next read. What I don't know is if I want to start Red Rising or if I want to read Talk Bookish to me. I'm going to just like decompress from my book for a moment and then start my next book. Okay, I just made some food. I made the last remaining bit of those barbecue dipper things I had yesterday as well, I think. Um, I think I am going to jump into Talk Bookish to me. I skimmed over the first like five to ten pages just to kind of see what it was like. Um, and then I skimmed the back. And now I do remember kind of looking at it when I was in the library. But it's this very, what appears to be a very like fluffy book of a romance writer. Like the main character, her name's Kara. She has a deadline in like a month. And so she's in kind of a slump with writing. She's a writer's block, whatever. And then her best friend's getting married and she's the maid of honor and it's very stressful for her. And then when she gets to the like pre-wedding party thing, she learns that her like first love is in the wedding party. And so she's stressed about all these things, of course like, like the book and then like him being there and stuff like that. <laughs> and then also she's a bookstagrammer and that also caught my attention. I don't know how well this author it's by Kate Bromley I haven't read anything by her before um, so I hope it's not done in a very cheesy way but we'll see I'm gonna eat this food watch some YouTube to kind of cleanse my palate after Billy Summers um, and then we'll jump into the book okay hi I have an update so it's like six o'clock and I'm on chapter six now so page like 67 or something like that I made a small dent and I wanted to give an update I'm really enjoying this book so it kind of started off and I was like yeah I don't know like I just don't really know how I'm feeling about it but then once it really got into more of like her and this guy's back and forth interactions I just became so much more like I love this book um, so, like I mentioned, it's following Kara, and she's an author, and so just kind of like a part of this book that I wanted to share was you're getting snippets of her book that she's writing as well. And for me, I don't think I'm like loving that part of it. Like, I don't really love the story she's writing at this point, um, but I'm loving her real life stuff. The dialogue between her Kara and Ryan. Ryan's the first love. Also, he's not just like her first love, but that's her college boyfriend, like her ex college boyfriend. So this man was her first everything. Ugh. Y'all, I can't imagine <laughs> going through what she's going through. I'm definitely looking forward to just like continuing the story, but I wanted to give you guys a little update now that I kind of got into more of the story. Okay guys, I have to give you an update because I'm reading this and just continuing to giggle and laugh and it's just so good. The, the back and forth, the quickness of these conversations, the dialogue that this author, what's her name, I'm sorry, Kate Bromley is writing, so good. And it's told like now, so like things like driver's license was mentioned, the song was mentioned in here. God bless. It was mentioned in not a cringy way, like the bookstagram talk in this is also it hasn't been cringy it hasn't made me feel like oh I don't want to read that or I want to skip over that or just like if like no it's 
very like, realistic, I feel like, to how probably a lot of books to grammars feel and think um, and act. And I open up the camera because in this chapter, the two main characters are talking and he's looking at her bookshelves and he's asking like what she looks for in a book and she <laughs> lists a bunch of tropes. And when he asks like what her favorite trope was, she's like, oh, top three, I don't know, like it feels like picking from her like non-existent children, like which one's her favorite, you know, like she can't do that. And I feel like as a bookish person, like I feel like we could all relate to that, like choosing your favorite book or choosing a trope, like it's like, oh, how do you betray the other things that you definitely like? And so when she first lists best friend sibling or something like that, he was like, I'm sorry, what? Like he's not in the bookish world, bookish community, and he's just like, that's a thing? Why is that a thing? Oh, it's just so good. Their back and forth, their banter, their wit is just top notch. This author, Kate Bromley, is just... She knows how to do it. I just want to give you an update because I'm having such a good time reading this book. Guys, it's literally such a pretty sunset. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Are you joking? So I'm gonna read just for like 10 15 minutes out here. We know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Okay, I have no idea what time it is. I don't think it's actually that late, but I'm definitely feeling a bit sleepy and I do need to do some editing. So I have about 100 pages left in the book and I'm still having plenty of moments where I'm just like giggling and like hand over the mouth like what's going on. So I'll update you in the morning if I end up reading more tonight but I think I really just want to spend some time watching some YouTube videos and editing more of the summer week vlog. I did a rough cut last night that took me a couple hours. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would take 37 minutes, the length of Larry Reed's 24 hour video. I don't, know, I don't know who I thought it was, but I'm gonna go ahead and get like, ready for bed and I will check in with you in the morning. Good morning. Oh my god, it's the first time I'm talking and the first time I'm seeing myself this morning, so bear with me. The first thing I did when I woke up this morning was finish this book. Oh my gosh. So I gave this book four stars. There were parts of it I didn't absolutely love and I kind of talked about those throughout it and then there's some things I didn't absolutely enjoy throughout like the last 25% of the book but I don't want to say any of that stuff because obviously spoilers but still four stars. Like you guys witnessed my reading experience. I loved so much of this book and I definitely want to read more or at least see more of what Kate Bromley has published if she has. I loved her writing. I loved the banter between the characters and just like their wit and charm and oh it was so good. It was so just very enjoyable as a reader to experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of now get out of bed and kind of get ready for the day um, and determine what I want to read next. Okay, I brushed my hair, I brushed my teeth, you know, I did the basics so I could get out the door. I think I want to go over to Starbucks and just sit outside and read like it when I can do that and I'm sure it's gonna get so hot later today it's probably already hot so we'll see how it goes um I did choose my next book I'm gonna read Red Rising this is such an anticipated read so I'm excited to get into it yeah I've already packed my bag I packed some fruit and stuff as well we're gonna hit Starbucks there might be a bit of paper left under the pool of coffee try to remember what I wrote and you just laugh We better have a talk Think it might last until it's dark When the candlelights are out I really think it's goodbye I didn't love you anyhow Now I'll make each day count I didn't love Okay, I just got back home and I realized I've been out all day, but I think there's about an hour left of this 48 hour readathon. So I'm gonna go ahead and read for the next hour and then I'll come back and we'll round out this video. This bird must learn to fly. Enter 
your room, you lock the door I'm lying helpless on the floor It's how we spend our days, it's tragic and so Okay, we've reached 5 o'clock on Sunday. This 48 hour readathon is over. And I will say, just easily, I really enjoyed my weekend. I really enjoyed just really relaxing and being able to read and getting through some books on my TBR. I feel like I had a really good reading weekend. So, let's summarize it. First up, I pretty much read the entire thing of Billy Summers by Stephen King. This book, I feel like I did talk a lot about it, but I just really enjoyed this. And I know Stephen King has a lot of horror, scary type of books that really spook people. If you want to read Stephen King books or you just kind of want to slowly ease your way in, see if he's an author that you'd like, I definitely recommend this. This book is more thriller, suspense, following a ex well, a marine that was in Iraq, is now out of the service, turned serial killer with morals. He prefers to kill people that have done bad things. So he is doing his last job and you're just following his last job. And I'm not going to talk any more about that because that's pretty much what you get on the back. But yeah, that's what you're following. And I really, really loved Stephen King's writing. I was Definitely just invested. After about 20 to 30 pages when I got more familiar with just his writing, I loved every second of this book. I really just wanted to know what happened next and I want to know how it ended and all the things. I loved this book so much. So if you at all are interested in this book, please read it. Next I read Talk Bookish to Me by Kate Bromley. This book. Okay, wait, I, think, I don't think I said it. I gave this book I think four and a half stars and I gave this book four stars. I was so giddy this entire book and I was just laughing out loud so much. There are parts of this book that I didn't absolutely love so that's why it gets four stars but that is a very very good four stars. This book was just so fun, lighthearted, cheesy at times. Like I do recommend this book because it does tackle even the bookstagram world thrown in there in a non-cringy way in my opinion so it was nice to get another book about an author have her live out a rom-com we're here for it and then lastly i started red rising today so i got about 30 percent of the way through i did anticipate reading more but once i realized that my nails were so bad and they really needed done i got a mani pad and I'm sorry about it. So took away from my reading because I can't put, I can't read. When I get my nails done, I don't know how people do that. I just can't. So I did get a late start to this today, but I did read the first 116 pages. I've really enjoyed it so far. I was first convinced to get this from Haley Fam, once again, saying that this book was Hunger Games in the Sky. And I was like, that is so intriguing. So to kind of better summarize my understanding of it now, it is set in this future world where we have, we being humans, have been able to make it to the moon and to Mars, and we're now crossing into the solar system and we're developing different societies on the planets and they're separated by different colors. So, like, I mean, red, white, blue, green. And the highest is gold. And so you're mainly following Darrow, where he um, was led to believe that he was a pioneer on Mars, working to make this planet habitable, and he's underground. And then he learns, I mean, at the very beginning, he's then introduced to the fact that it's been hundreds and hundreds of years where the humans have already inhabited Mars. And he's like, this is all a lie. And so the people that kind of found him, rescued him, are wanting him to infiltrate the gold world, gold society, gold level, to really stick it to the man. Um, it's a whole series. This is just the first 30% of book one. So I feel like nothing I'm saying is a real spoiler, but I feel like if you have definitely heard the very brief Hunger Games in the Sky comments, um, I feel like you may want to know like, okay, no, what really is this book about? And that is what I have gathered in the first 30%.
I love a good readathon. This did not ruin my mental health, physical health, emotional health. So these are the readathons for me. I will be doing many more in the future. So definitely stick around if you want to see more book content and readathons. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.